Hi there fellow Wowers, this is Landro off of the Wild Hammer EU server, bringing you the guild Who Dares Wins vs Ultraxian 10 Man Heroic, and this will be from an Atonement Disc Priest perspective. Now, um, before this encounter actually starts, I will sit here and spam my Prayer of Healings to, to build Aegis up to its maximum. Um, and then when the encounter actually starts, everybody's got a, a 60, around about 60,000 uh, absorb on them. So the very, very start of the fight, I can then concentrate on Holy Fire and Smiting as much as possible. We use Heroism upon the pull. Uh, some guilds use it for the last 20%, but we, we've we done it this way and it's worked for us. This is our second guild, so it seems to work. Um, and uh, as a Disc Priest, as Atonement, you're DPSing, obviously, to to enable um, the encounter to, to end slightly quicker. Um, you'll probably end up doing around about 6k. Um, you could probably do 8k if you focus on it a little bit more, quite feasibly. Um, but 6k, every little helps. Um, as you can see, I use Powered Barrier very on in the encounter, early on in the encounter, sorry, and then I will him of Hope when my barrier's out. I don't use the barrier because the damage is such that it's needed, but um, I know it will be off cooldown when that point actually occurs later on in the fight. Um, and I know also that there's no way I'll be able to use him of hope at that part, that point in the fight, so I use it early on. Uh, and um, and all you're doing really is just topping everybody up, making sure that um, you prioritise. Obviously, the tanks need to be topped up ASAP. You smite and you hold fire every opportunity. You press your button at the right time so that you don't end up uh, wiping everybody or dying. And um, obviously, cancel any casting to press your button. Prioritise the button press over anything else you're doing. If you have to move to cancel the very last bit of your cast to make sure you get into the hour of twilight at the um, the correct time, then then so be it. Um, and a, the early parts, the early mechanics of this fight are quite straightforward. It's it's pairs of people who will um, not go into the hour of, twi hour of twilight, not press their button. They will um, use a personal cooldown. Um, many many cooldowns are um, available: deterrence, dispersion. Um, your, t your tanks both have powerful cooldowns. Um, mages have ice block and quarter eyes. Uh, things of that ilk. Um, on the very first. Um, entry, or the very first team that don't go in, and um, we use a warrior, uh, Leo Sidus, um, doesn't go in, but he will then have a Pain Suppression. Pain Suppression reduces the damage by 40% as you as you well know, but it's important that you then top up the character who's having this Pain Suppression or who's avoiding um, the damage this way, and you also need to make sure that they're, they're topped up, they're pre-shielded and they have a um, Prayer of Mending on them. If you can get some Ages on them as well as a bonus. Uh, but what you need to do as you come out of... Um, the Arrow of Twilight, you need to be aware of what cooldown has been used. For example, your um, your Fire Mage who cauterizes will need instant healing straight away. Um, and uh, Sometimes you'll have somebody on low HP and they will need uh, topping, topping up straight away. Uh, the only other thing of note here is to mention the buffs and how we use them. I use the red buff uh, early on in the encounter. Um, we run with an Entomment Disc Priest and a Holy Paladin. Um, but the reason I take red is because we want red and blue active for the last phase of this fight. Um, our Holy Paladin, Sacro, uh, takes the blue buff. Um, it's the only other buff that is viable for a Disc Priest. Um, the 100% haste and 100% mana reduction means you can spam Prayer of Healings um, to your heart's content. But the heals per second you do simply cannot compare to what Holy Paladin can do for that part of the fight. Um, so we want them to take the blue. Um, green is fairly ineffective so you don't really want that one going. So of course then that leaves red so that's the one I use for this encounter. My role early on is to to assist with the damage, uh, to make sure that nobody dies, to use my defensive cooldowns on the relevant people, um, to cover as much of the healing as possible so that the Holy Paladin can save their cooldowns for later on in the fight. A Holy Paladin who has saved their cooldowns, their wings, their um, Divine Favor, their Power Ranger, um, with the blue buff, can do, I, I checked the logs, our, our Holy Paladin, Sacro, uh, does between 120 and 130k heals per second for the kill phase of this fight, the last 20% of Ultra Axon's HP when the damage gets quite insane, and no matter how good you are as a Disc Priest, you can't compete, so you're assisting early on, you're ensuring they save their cooldowns, and then in the final part of the fight, you're assisting, you're making sure that nobody dies by using your fast, expensive heals. Um, as you can see here, I used my wings, uh, my Archangel stacks consumed along with um, Divine Hymn, 
uh, and I was going to use Power Barrier, but I noticed that Sacro had her wings out too, so I saved it for a, a few more seconds. It's a very powerful cooldown at the end of a fight, so I saved it a little bit longer, uh, then used it when the damage got a bit more insane. And as you can see, it's just crazy. Um, you need to be using your fast, expensive heals. You shouldn't run out of mana if you've consumed it well. It gets touch or go, sometimes you wipe 1-2%, but you'll inevitably get the odd kill. So this is our, as I said, this is our second kill, very close, but um, we got it done. Uh, so. Hope you enjoyed that. More videos coming soon. Landra out.